We are now looking at a teaching video on logarithm. Point one, we are looking at logarithmic identities or laws. So we want you to have a certain system of uh, memorization so that you can actually recall these rules systematically. So for instance, in part A, we talk about product. So meaning, where you have x times y. So this log base A, the product, x times y. When we talk about quotient, we have x divided by y. When we talk about power, you can see this expression, x to the power of n, that is an index. When we talk about the roots, we have the nth root of x. So that way, you can memorize more effectively. So for this result, where you have the product, we think sum so log base a x plus log base a y. So when we talk about the product, we have to think sum. So for this particular identity, I have log base A, x minus log base A, y. So where we have the quotient, we think difference. Here, we have log base A, x to the power of n. So what we'll do, the index or the power will become a multiplier. So n times log base a x. So the power here, we are thinking of the multiplier. This is quite similar to this. If we just take one more step, to put it in the index form, we have 1 over n as the index of x. Then this power will become the multiplier. So we will have log base a x over n. So whatever root we had, say the fifth root will be, the divisor will be 5. 6 root, the divisor will be 6. Next, we look at a few more. For point E, we have change of base. So, if I'm looking at this, and I want to change to base C, then, log base c for the numerator, log base c for the denominator. What I'll put here and here will depend on what I have here. So b will be in the numerator, a will be in the denominator. So there's nothing much I can do about this. Let's look at part 2 where I have to change to base b. So I will have log base b over log base b. Now what I put in here will be what I see here. The b on top and the a in the new denominator. Where I have log base b, b, I will get a result of 1. So, I will have 1 over log base b a. Now, whenever we have a switch of this from log a to log b, when we do the switch, it will be reciprocal of log base b a. For point f, we have log 
base A A, the result is 1. In point G, log base A 1, we have the result 0. Now, in point 2, we'll look at the common terms, the natural log and common log. So basically, we're looking at two different bases, base 10 and base E. So where I have log base E, this will be called natural logarithm. Where I have log base 10, that will be called common logarithm. But there is a short form to this. Log base E can also be written as ln, ln. Log base 10 can also be written as Lg. So when I have this form, there is no need to put in the base. Since it's understood, ln is log base E, Lg is log base 10. If you have a calculator in front of you, you look at the key for log. It's stated for natural logarithm, ln. But for the common logarithm, it is written as log instead of lg. So when you see log log, it means log base 10. Now point 3 is very important in problem solving where you have questions that switch from logarithmic form to index form or index form to logarithmic form. So for the part 1 here, uh, point 3, we have logarithmic form, we want to change to uh, the index form. So a few things must first be settled. The base is A and the index is C. So when we switch the logarithmic form to the index form, we just have this B equals to the base A raised to the power of the index C. So if we can settle in our mind, the A is the base and the C is the index. Now how do we know? The base is obvious, but on the other side of the logarithmic expression, that part will be called the index. For point 4, we are now changing from the index form to the logarithmic form. Again, that A is the base, that C is the index. When we write the logarithmic equation, it will be log base A and the subject here B is equals to the index C. So we must be able to just switch from the index form to the logarithmic form as well as from the logarithmic form to the index form. So for point 5, we have two conditions that we have to bear in mind for log base A y to be defined. The first condition is that the y must always be greater than 0. Supposing we have log base 10, a negative number, you key that into your calculator, you find it gives you a message of mathematical error. So we can't have y even 
as a zero. Of course, negative will be definitely out. For part two, talking about the base, the base of any log must be greater than zero, except for one point where a is equals to one. That will fail as well. So these are the two conditions we have to bear in mind as we work through the logarithmic questions. Sometimes when the conditions not adhering to what we have here, we reject those values. Then when we look at uh, point six, important results. These are two very useful results. When we have e to the power of ln x, now as a way of experimentation, you can key in to your calculator e to the power of ln 5 and you get a result of 5. What it means is that when you have e to the power of ln x, then the result would be just x. <coughs> Similarly, for b, where we have 10 to the power of log base 10 x, so replacing the x with say a 5, then keying that into your calculator. 10 to the power of log base 10 5, you get a result of 5. So what it means also is that you get a result of x. So look closely, this is e and this is log base e. As long as the base and what you see here is the same, then you get the x as the result. This is 10, this base of the log is 10. So you get that result x. Now we look at point 7. It's common that we have equation involving different bases, such as this. You have base A and you have base B. And there is no way that we can actually change the A or the B to be the same as the other. Then we can do either point 1 or point 2. So it doesn't matter, the result at the end will still be the same. So the reason why we take either point 1 or point 2 simply due to the fact that in your calculator you only have log base e and log base 10. So if you have a calculator that can give you results for other bases, then we can also try those. Just looking at the lawn that is log base e, if I have this question, trying to solve for x, then I'll take lawn on both sides. Then the index here will become multiplier. So I have x lawn a equals to ln b to the power n. That will be a constant. So if I divide both sides by ln a, I have x equals to ln b to the power n over ln a. Of course, when we look at part 2, instead of taking ln, we will be taking LG, log base 10. So LG, A to the power of X equals to LG, B to the power of N. Again, the index here, X will become the multiplier. So X times LG, A equals to LG, B to the power of N. So to find X, simply, I will just divide both sides of the equation by LGA or log base 10A. 
I will have log base 10 b to the power n divided by log to the power 10 a. So either way, the final outcome will be the same, even though the two expressions here are different at the moment. So run through the teaching video to refresh your mind before any problem solving. Now, we have come to the end of the video.